Dracula. It's, uh, it is, as many people refer to it, it's, it's my single most successful ballet. But let me begin by just doing a little history check on this. This production is now 26 years old. It originated in England, as many people know, the Northern Ballet Theatre. It was really started as the brainchild of the then artistic director Chris Gable. And Christopher and I go back a long way and we made a lot of wonderful works together. And so out of the germ of a why don't we do something about Dracula, then comes along Les Brotherston, this highly creative and imaginative designer, and then Philip Feeney, wonderful composer. And so the process was really, as I like to say, was a true collaboration. It was a lot of creative people in a room for many, many hours. The process was a very interesting uh, for me uh, at that time. Uh, 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 kind of unusual because we... Uh, the company we worked the Northern Ballet Theatre in England uh, uh, was uh, uh, very deeply focused on uh, exploring characters on a storyline uh, and, and uh, on dramatic line of the sh uh, performance. And we explore uh, uh, vampire theme using uh, French poet Baudelaire and we read uh, one of the, uh, uh, his poems. For me, naturally, I grew up uh, in Soviet Union <laughs> at uh, all times, and uh, that uh, Dracula didn't uh, kind of uh, particular was a big story at that time uh, there, and uh, I, w I was not sure how, what uh, what I'm going to go, how I'm going to dance Dracula, but I'm going to go around the stage and bite people. <laughs> That's kind of a little bit uh, could be comical, you know, uh, in a way. But the way the show turned, uh, telling the story. Uh, was very uh, interesting and involving different uh, human uh, elements rather than just, uh, it was not just about fighting. And that's, I think, uh, uh, more and more used in, uh, if you see movies and uh, performances of more recent times, that's what people try, uh, directors try to explore in this uh, story. Certain aspects and moments in the production were achieved in, in one rehearsal, a short part of there or a section here. The very first thing that I created was Dracula's first entrance. I walked onto an empty stage, not one single idea, just all this research work, and that was it. It's almost as if I became that role and then the, all the other subsequent roles. So I think that happens really maybe once in your lifetime, that something's destined to be, and certainly by its popularity, global, popularity. I would say that it really does work on every single level. The storytelling, the characters, the, the music, the, everything that comes together gives you Dracula. So this will be my fifth time doing Dracula in, since 2005. Yeah. Character itself um, to start from the beginning till the end, it kind of builds intensity through, through the ballet. Obviously, the first time is always just kind of figure out if it, you know, with you as well as a person, like how you're gonna uh, play this character. But as a young dancer, obviously, you need, you need to mature as well with the character as you play it. So um, I just remember being very raw and kind of not quite fully understood the, the way it's supposed to or the way I should play. I, I remember my first time doing Dracula, like if it, if it was yesterday. Uh, it was the first ballet I danced with this company and it was so exciting to, to get to do that ballet. So it's about telling the story and it came all new to me, you know. It's like concentrating on being an actress, using your ballet technique to tell the story, but mostly to tell the story. So that was also a brand new experience and I mean, I loved it, so. so Lucy is this young, charming girl, full of life, uh, like bubbly champagne. She's like all happiness, curless. She's not a, a ditzy, she's just very happy and very young. Uh, beautiful girl, you know, she has like, um, in one day she had three proposals, something like that. So she's just a, full of life. And uh, she goes through this transformation in the ballet. 
because she's one of the first victims of Dracula, it's not her fault. It's like it was inevitable. Dra if Dracula has you in his eyesight, you are going to be doomed. And she just uh, becomes this vampire and goes to this dark transformation where she is this bloodthirsty, feeding frenzy vampire. So you get, you start the ballet as a sweet, full of life girl and you end the ballet as a vampire just eating <laughs> for life. So it's, it's, it's a really fun transformation. I feel like for me it has been in a way very exciting because um, it's just kind of like I feel like that pie is like more him yeah. kind of like yeah. Intimate. Exactly. It feels yeah. very like intimate and I feel like that has been something that because I have never danced with her before so mm -hmm. I have to kind of like you have to really, learn each other. Yeah and I feel like just kind of really be connected to her eyes and when I'm not looking to her eyes look into her veins I would say just like how Micah has been telling us to do and I feel like that's something that it makes me as Dracula get really into it. It's less about the technique, rather, more about the story. Right. And so in that aspect, dancing it, it's not as stressful. So you can really play more into the story. And so that's what you know I've loved about it. And um, yeah, I think one day in rehearsal, Michael turned off the lights and that really helped us get into the Just mood into the and mood. connect and it felt very intimate too. yeah and so after that it's been you just feel it's like your own you're in your own world yeah. and i think that's what i love about it it's just me and him yeah and for me it's i think it just has been helping me to understand a little bit more of like with dan especially since it was created on him to just kind of get a little bit of like the backstory, um, but with that, I feel like also Davi coming in. I think both of them just has been helping me kind of build my own Dracula, and with that, just being helpful with me understand a little bit better, but also give me a clarity answer to how should I build my inner Dracula. And I think that's just basically how it has been the process. Dennis come and say this way and the V goes this way but with a little head and I feel like that I just kind of like put, put both of them and it's just kind of like it just gave me a little more of like okay I think I'm going to the right direction. Music is kind of hard for this role and getting all the little details of that um, Luth has been awesome um, she's done it so many times and all the nuances that you know when you're first looking at it you don't really see but what makes the story are those little nuances. We did it five years ago I understudied Lucy and that was actually my first principal role to understudy in the company so it's been fun getting to actually do it. This ballet doesn't take doesn't have just one memorable moment. It has many. So it's just anybody takes away home some part of this ballet. And that, that's very interesting when you cross that uh, line between reality and fantasy uh, world. Uh, uh, very thin lines sometimes uh, you think, but it's uh, uh, that's where we approach uh, uh, real humor. There's been so much written about the psychology of vampirism, but there is something deadly attractive about this. And I, again, sometimes I think it's, it's the romanticized idea of Dracula. He's very Byron-esque. He looks beautiful. He's irresistible. But of course he would be because fundamentally he doesn't work very hard. He just goes around and dispenses his magic and takes people's um, life juices to survive himself. I feel like growing up, I've always liked to play being a vampire. <laughs> I always liked to play like being a vampire. So I feel like for me, it was just more the fact of like, of course the teeth, um, but also feeling like I was immortal. I think that's like for me, that's the fact that I could do anything. Um, 
and I just like to play that. So I feel like that's where me. I always grew up thinking. People like to be dark and bloody. Yeah, I guess. <laughs>